Wow, howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools. I've been working on the garage a little bit this past few weeks and I've been trying to get this high counter over here in front of the green screen where we can you know, review tools and whatever. So it's looking good, it's, it's coming. It's, uh, I think that a garage, two car garage, is always, if you're, if you're a woodworker or metal worker, whatever, it's always evolving. <laughs> you're always making changes and moving stuff around. It's one of the reasons I like wheels, you know, and I try to put everything I've got that I can on wheels so I can, you know, move the furniture around a little bit. And uh, this is not the end of ends, but this is like, I guess you could say what, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, let's try this, you know, <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, I forgot to have my famous coffee cup sitting over here. Big shout out to Greg up there in the Northwest. He sent me a picture of himself holding this coffee cup. And he had the t-shirt, the famous t-shirt on one of them. And uh, that was great, Greg. It was great. Meantime, uh, last week I did this one here, which is the, uh, yeah, that was from Harbor Freight. <laughs> but it puts your miter saw on a really big workbench area, if you need it, and it puts it on wheels. So it was like, yes. But the thing is, there's there's good wheel kits out there, and there's wheel kits that you probably don't want to buy. And so I thought maybe today we should cover a little bit of that because I have, like I said, just about everything I've got here is on wheels. Even my huge table saw that takes like three guys to haul it, it's on wheels. It's the wheel kit it came with. I don't like, but it works. It does the job. So I'm like, okay, we'll live with it, but I'm not real fussy on it. I also wanted to show you a wheel kit that uh, some people wrote in about, and it was like they don't understand the concept of the kit, and it's a really good kit, and it does everything it's supposed to do, but they don't understand it. So, well, you know, I don't have to get into it. The other thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to show you a wheel kit that I'm going to say, unless you're really desperate or something, don't buy it. Yeah, it's just, I think it's from Harbor Freight as a matter of fact. I can't imagine that, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna bring one up here right now. I'm gonna show you what this wheel kit looks like. Just, you know, yeah. Yeah, pow, yeah, here's the, uh, Here's the one I'm talking about. It's they're sold as a furniture dolly whatever mover, and I picked up a set of these, and I can honestly say this is something that just around a workshop at least for like heavy benches and stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't go for it. It's it sort of like gets stuck even with the three wheels cast you know cast ring and whatever they get hung up and all of a sudden everything goes so. Not a, not a good program. Really quite surprised and disappointed. Uh, I'm sure glad I didn't pay top dollars for these things because I have used them in the past and I've had near accidents over and over again with them. So that's one of the reasons I really don't like them. Besides, they're not, uh, generally they, you don't attach them, of course, because you know the leg or whatever sits here. And if the cabinet is square or something, it doesn't really want to sit on these. And it has a tendency again to, you know, do one of these, look at that, like, you know, just flip kind of thing. So not the best wheel, you know, to buy for uh, workshops and stuff. But let's take a look at one. It's kind of at ground level here. So we'll go down to the floor and take a look at the wheel kit that uh, was misunderstood by a lot of people. And I think it's a terrific kit. It does, it was a good price and it, it does work with the bench great, you know. Down on my knees, on the floor. Okay, this is the wheel kit that I like that I added to my workbench. The, this is the woodworking bench. And this is an easy kit to uh, actually install, but it's also a pretty decent price and it's rated for some pretty heavy poundage. So right now this is just loose. And that was what people didn't understand. They thought that the bench might roll around a little bit because it's on wheels. It's not on wheels right now. The wheels are simply hanging. This cam is lever right here. This is going to come down and push the wheel down to where it lifts the bench up off the floor. Actually, I'll have to do it with a, with a foot in order to demonstrate, I guess, but uh, we'll do it like that. And now the bench is on wheels. But when this is, when you don't need that and you set the bench in place, the wheel is now loose and it's no longer a problem. And the bench is solid, it's steady on the floor on its legs. And that was what 
a lot of people seem to get confused about. I'll provide a link in the description below where I get these kits. And uh, because I'm an Amazon associate uh, seller, so yeah, there will be some commission or something involved, I guess, with the link. But uh, I'll give you an affiliated link for where you can find these at Amazon. Right now, they're on sale. I think they're around $27 for kit for four of these. And like I said, they install and put together. They, they look kind of overwhelming when they come out of the box with all the parts. But really, if you follow the directions, it's, you know, it's a good little kit. For a wood bench or something, anything wood like that, where you just want something where you can wheel it around when you need to, and then take the wheels off of it, it's a very good kit, and it's rated for, you know, it's pretty high. I think it was, I can't remember exactly, I think around 600 pounds total for the four. I think it was 150 pounds each or something like that. It was. So that's a pretty good kit, and you know, it does what it needs to do. I was thinking about buying that kit and just using metal screws and attaching it to my uh, table saw, because like I said, the table saw came with something. Let me show you the table saw uh, set, that dolly thing that I have. The table saw came with it, so we'll just take a quick look. And it has, it has a couple of good features. The wheels are fairly big, which is a really good thing. But the, it only steers from the, from the front and only lifts from one side. So then you have to sort of move it around like a shopping cart thing where you have to sort of steer around. Not great, but let's face it, usually when you put a table saw somewhere, it's sort of like, that's where it's gonna stay. The uh, the other set, uh, again back to Harbor Freight. Um, yeah, Harbor Freight has two sizes of uh, dollies. Then they're very inexpensive for what they are because they come on these four you know crazy dolly wheels. And I bought the small ones and I bought the large size for uh, tools to move certain benches and things around or try to make them portable benches. And I can honestly say if you get a chance and if you have a little bit more money than me don't do it <laughs> i've had all kinds of stuff try to you know tip over or almost broke a tool from you know something tipping over the small one and we'll just take a quick look at that right now yeah that you know it's so cheap it's like oh man you know and i can just put my tools on that but it's like it's not a very good idea uh, they're they're very tipsy you know uh, the other one, of course, is the larger one from Harbor Freight. And I'll show you that. Yeah, and it's, again, you know, it's not a great, it's just not great. I've got my welding bench on one of the big ones right now from Harbor Freight, and I have, you know, the welding bench has fallen off that thing, I don't know how many times, but at least it's steel, it doesn't really hurt it, but it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, this was just never a good winning program. Okay, let's talk about dollies, you know, dolly wheels and stuff. When we're gonna buy wheels for our, our benches and stuff, there's two things to think about. And the, of course, the first one is the weight. Uh, that set I just showed you that I use on my bench, they're actually rated at 600 pounds, so I was like, yeah, there's, there's no problem there at all. <coughs> yeah, and the thing is, uh, with, you have four wheels on most benches you're gonna have four so if the wheels are rated at like 150 pounds that's 600 pounds total that's a pretty heavy bench or workshop or you know work piece whatever it is that's pretty heavy the second thing that you have to kind of watch for if you're especially if you're buying the single dollies uh, from like you know the uh, big box stores a lot of times you want to go with a good size diameter because even a piece of uh, sawdust catching a small wheel can be it can be a mess yeah where the larger wheel catches some sawdust and it might bump around a little bit but hopefully it won't throw your saw or whatever you're moving your drill press or something you know knock the whole thing over and end up on the floor broken because I uh, yeah I've been there man I have done that <laughs> and also so let's take a look at uh, the other possibilities right well, let's take a look at toolboxes you know they have wheels yeah craftsman <laughs> stacked toolbox on those wheels. If you've ever seen uh, any of those fail army or whatever on YouTube and they pulled too many drawers out and the whole thing tips over, like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's not good. It's kind of one of the reasons why I like that very first set I showed you where you lift the camera up and the whole bench sits down on the, uh, you know, floor, the shop floor, and it doesn't move. It's like, that is really, that's cool, you know. Uh, and a lot of our tools, a lot of our tools, like uh, another one that I'm putting wheels on right now, I'm working on it, is uh, my, my DeWalt planer. 
because you don't really push the boards into it, but you sort of feed them in and then they feed themselves through the machine automatically and then drop out usually on the floor on the other side. But on wheels, that thing could pose quite a few problems. It's very heavy, so it'll be top heavy. Uh, so I'm thinking I might have to look at a kit where I can take the wheels on and off or lock the wheels so that it can't you know, move around. Uh, I've got several benches in here that I've picked up at yard sales. <laughs> where else you get them? On wheels, yeah, one of them's actually a Craftsman. I don't know what was on it. I think it was probably a bandsaw, which again is another item. Bandsaw, can you imagine a bandsaw and you're trying to press something through? If it's on wheels, it starts to roll away. <laughs> oh, we got a mess today, you know. Mama will hear you scream all the way into the house from the garage when something goes wrong like that. Yeah. So you have to, you know, let's face it, we gotta, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do and, and make sure it's solid and safe even if we're putting wheels on it, that can create a whole new set of problems. Hey, I'd like to some comments below too about that. If, uh, if you've ever put something on wheels and it was a disaster, we'd love to hear about it. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, I also wanted to talk about, uh, we're making changes obviously to the studio. You can see it's, you know, it's very different right now. And I'm still moving stuff around. And because of the moving around stuff, we had to kind of stop what we're doing and say, let's, let's revamp a little bit. Uh, I've got a several uh, 3D printers coming in. A lot of woodworkers should get 3D printers. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's just it's just a, it's it's something that's really slowly coming of age. Uh, 3D printers still have a ways to go, but I think they are really it's, it's nice to have one. And for the price of them, and the and you know from the hobby end of it, whatever you can make toys for the grandkids, or you can make uh, tools, woodworking tools off of 3D printers, which is to me, it's just absolutely awesome. The other thing I've got, uh, we have one more laser. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to do any more lasers, but we've got one more laser to do. The safest lasers are fully enclosed lasers like the ComGrow that we showed you uh, a couple of weeks ago, and also the uh, the T the TS3 from uh, Two Tree. It's a good machine because it's fully enclosed, so it's very safe. But uh, I'd like to say from Two Tree, I really feel dedicated to them. They, yeah, you know, they sent me that really expensive enclosed machine over, and I was like, eh, we really need to show another one. So we've got the other Two Tree machine in. It's an open air type. From what I heard, I don't know. It's supposed to be big, so it should be interesting, just to see the size of it. And uh, we might uh, cut something up rather interesting <laughs> that week. Yeah, it'd be click it'll look like clickbait, but eh, it won't be. It's not clickbait, you know, yeah. Uh, wheels, wheels, wheels. Uh, that's about it. I, okay, I would never put a full-size uh, drill press on wheels unless you can pop them up afterwards. Because, again, there's something that, that's probably the most top-heavy machine I have. Oh, there's one that's top-heavy worse than that. Which one do you think it is? Mm. You probably, if you have one, you'll know immediately yeah the compressor yeah the old twin cylinder monster compressor everything's at the top there's nothing but weight at the top and there's not the tank doesn't weigh that much and man those things can tip over in a heartbeat can't they i would not put wheels on that ever no it'll vibrate its way right out the door of the shop into the street the neighbors will be wondering what's that going by their house you know so the uh, compressor is a base, and I, you know it would be nice to have a wheel sometimes, but that's just not something you should do wheels on ever. <laughs> anyway, oh, we got to stop this. Uh, yeah, this is the only thing I, you know, Harbor Freight <clears throat> I don't recommend is this right here. Uh, there's certain applications, I guess, where it might work great for you, but uh, we almost lost a saw again the other day moving it with this because it was a very heavy 12-inch saw. And I put it on these and it was like, oh man, I was like, it was like, you know, close over and over again. And the, uh, there was a nice gentleman that came to pick that saw up because I was getting it out of here. So we had more room uh, in the garage for other tools. So it was like, oh, I'll just use these for, you know, a couple minutes, get the saw outside, shouldn't be a problem. Wow, that's, uh, yeah, that was not a good program. So anyway, hey. Thank you everybody for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. And we've got 
more stuff to give away. I think Monday we'll do a little uh, short prize thing where by Thursday we'll do a draw on something. Meantime, at the end of the month, we have a fabulous draw for a beautiful uh, Ortur Laser Master 3 machine, 10 watt. It'll, hopefully I'll get it all back in the box and uh, ship that out to whoever the winner is on that one. Meantime, I'm out of here. <laughs> Over there.